when I'm going to save uh, eggplant seeds, I wait until late in the season and then I just leave a couple on and let them get fully ripened. Normally I would have already picked these probably more than a week ago. When they're uh, just right to pick, they'll be more of a purplish color like that, but these are overly ripe, so they've been on this plant for a while. But I'm going to leave them on there for a while longer. Um, it's October 18th now, and we'll come back in a little while, in a few days or a week or so, and we'll get these off, and I'll show you how I save the seeds from them. Okay, here's our two eggplant. We cut off uh, the plant about three days ago, and what I did is just put them in here on my workbench for a few days, and I wanted to soften them up just a little bit. You don't want to have them rotten, but I like for them to soften up just a little bit. I just start by cutting the stem end off of them. Then I just slice them down the middle. And you can see there's lots of seeds in there. Then what I like to do is just take an old spoon just scrape those seeds out into a bowl of water. Now I'm not going to ferment. Uh, I ferment tomatoes and cucumbers because they have that uh, gelatinous stuff around the seeds, but the eggplants don't have that. So just scoop out the inner part here with the seeds. I won't bore you do, with doing uh, every bit of these, so I'll come back after I have those scooped out. Okay, I've kind of zoomed in on the bowl a little bit. And if you look, some of the stuff that I scooped out still has the seeds attached to it. So what I like to do is just put my hands down in the water and just run that between my fingers and my thumbs and just try to loosen up as much of those seeds as you can. Now I'm going to do that, and we'll come back. It's up to you how thorough you want to be. Some of these pieces, they uh, still have seeds left attached. You can take your time and knock every one of those loose if you want. But um, I mainly just try to get the majority of them and uh, call that good. But if you want to try to get them all, that's up to you. But after a little bit of work, I already have um, a lot of seeds down the bottom of this bowl. And what I'm going to do is take these outside. And if you'll notice, this stuff here, it floats on the top. We're just going to get rid of that and pour off some of this loose stuff, and then I'll show you how many seeds we have. Okay, here's a bowl with the seeds and, and all that pulp stuff. Most of it floats with a few seeds, so what I'm going to do is just pour that off. Now look at all those beautiful seeds we have at the bottom. There's a little bit of pulp left that um, probably is a little bit on the ripe side, so it went to the bottom. And what you do is just pick that stuff out and discard it. Or if you swirl it around, sometimes you can still pour more of that off, like so. That's a lot of seeds there. The next step I um, won't show you, but 
what I like to do is put it in this uh, little strainer here um, and then I give it a thorough washing with the garden hose outside and that'll even uh, dis dislodge more of the seeds from the remaining pulp and then I just dump it out on a paper towel and the reason I do that is I, I want to get as much as that of that moisture off as quickly as possible and, and and try to dry it as quickly as I can so none of them will try to germinate so then you just scrape them off the paper towel after you dab them a little bit when it comes to spreading them out on the plate my fingers are kind of big and clumsy so I found that using a fork will work better than my big old fingers and another thing about the fork is as you rake it through the seeds as you're spreading them out it'll help you find those little pieces of uh, pulp that are left like this one here it's got seeds attached to it can knock some seeds off and get rid of that but the key is to spread it out as much as you can and uh, get it dry as quickly as possible so you don't want you want to keep it in a dry place don't put it somewhere where there's a lot of uh, dampness then I just leave them on the plate till they're dry and then I'll store them and after they dried I put them in this uh, little plastic container I'll label them with the uh, variety and the date and as always uh, it's best to save seeds from heirloom varieties if you save seeds from a hybrid the results will oftentimes be very disappointing but that's what they look like